Hello, hello YouTube, it's Ro here. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'm talking to you at the new house, yay! Today is Saturday, June 25th, and I started moving at the beginning of the week. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I have until the end of J uh, July to get out of here, or not here, get out of the old place and into here altogether. And so I'm just gonna do what I do. And then when it gets closer to time, I'll go ahead and book somebody to do the rest of it. But um, what was it? I wanna say it was like two, three weeks ago, I saw that Botanical Interest was having a sale on their um, seeds. I mean, everybody was, right? It's like that time of year. But um, I reacted accordingly and bought up seeds like I never bought them before. I absolutely lost my mind and that was the right thing to do. <laughs> I don't even remember what's in this box, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> a real conversation piece in the garden and in floral arrangements. People rarely guess what type of plant it is. It's a little pumpkin shaped fruit of this 1800s ornamental eggplant. A novel addition to fresh or dried floral arrangements. Also called red china or scarlet Chinese eggplant, the bitter fruits are used in Asian cuisine, drying instructions inside the packet. It never occurred to me that this was um, edible. <laughs> Fun. So these are eggplant shaped like pumpkins. All American parsnips. I've been wanting this one, the uh, uh, Armenian cucumber. So this one's light green, thin skin, birthless, and nearly seedless. More tolerant of heat than most cucumbers. Sometimes called the serpent cucumber or yard long. It's technically a variety of melon. A long production period means harvesting right into the fall. This packet sows up to 22 feet of trellised cucumbers. Whew. Oh, this was exciting. I've I, I seen this, oh God, probably two years ago. Meant to find the seeds, never did. And then whenever I was perusing uh, the, um, Botanical interest uh, sale. I was thrilled when I saw this. This is the uh, Dusty Miller Silver Silver Dust Seeds. Um, I just like the uh, color of it and the texture. It says on the back here, it's uh, excellent for edging and containers. is a must-have for a moon garden. It makes pretty filler and bouquets and a tabletop arrangement. It's allowed to flower. Butterflies are drawn to its yellow flowers. It's perennial in USDA zones seven through 10, normally grown as an annual. May survive mild winters when mulched with protection and deer resistant. They give you a seed starting guide. I got an Italian Roma. I have a couple of these seeds already, but I saw them, I said I'll get some more. It's the Ace. Or Ace 55 Tomato. This one is a 1950s heirloom. Ace 55 has excellent fresh tomato flavor and is a lower acid tomato. An old favorite for canning. Five inches to six inches in diameter, 68 ounce fruits are just the right size to quarter and pack into jars. Yields are exceptional. As a determinate type, the majority of the fruits ripen over a one to two week period. In areas with a long growing season, sell in succession. Ooh. I haven't grown it yet and I do have that other pack. I started seeds and I don't know, who knows what I did. I, but they never survived. I had to get this one. The Lupa Gourd. Everybody's done this before. Everybody but me. I got a big old packet of baby greens. Uh, these are the must-have mustards. Okay, it says it has red giant, tender green, Mizuna, red streaks, and spicy green. 
I got the Jazzy Microgreens mix. Uh, in this one, you have the Red Acre Cabbage, Peppergrass Crest, China Rose Radish, Red Giant Mustard, and Sawtooth Mustard. Oh, as a thank you, they sent me a pack of tall sunflowers, which is actually a good idea because, you know, prior to moving to the house, I always did container gardening. So I mostly did dwarf sunflowers. So I don't have too many tall sunflower seeds though. Now I got some. Uh, I just like the name of these. These cucumbers are called homemade pickles. <laughs> Making pickles is at home is easy with homemade pickles. This plant has very high yields and is ready to harvest early. Resistant to leaf spot, cucumber, mosaic virus, downy mildew, and powdery mildew. Four foot to five foot compact vines are great in containers. I got the King Richard leek. Black creme tomato. This Russian heirloom originated in Krimsk on the Black Sea in Russia. Baseball sized fruits weigh 10 to 12 ounces and have reddish brown flesh filled with a rich, slightly salty flavor. Fruit sets well in the heat and is a reliable black tomato producing even under adverse conditions for summer to fall. And lastly, seeds for some fever fuel. A Victorian garden staple and an herbal remedy for centuries, feverfew is a reliable, fairly drought tolerant, unfussy plant with masses of small white flowers on scented, ferny foliage. The blooms attract beneficial insects and are a great fresh cut or dried flower. Avidly received, so let these volunteers decorate your garden and dried pollinators, also known as featherfew, bachelor's or bride's button, and midsummer daisy. Feverfew is used in traditional teas and has a long history of medicinal use, perennial, and zones five through eight. Cool. So there you have it, guys. That's what I got. I am not going to be starting any seeds. I am moving. Um, <laughs> usually it's hard for me not to drop any seeds. Usually I'm dropping seeds whether I need to or not and then just figuring something out. But uh, with me having so much to do, I'm not dropping any seeds. There is, and I'm not even itching to do it. <laughs> I just got too much going on. At any rate, I've been getting some uh, some of the containers over it, and I got a few out there right now. Um, I'm starting to map my son in the front and the backyards so I can know where I would want to plant certain things. You know, some things can get away with only four hours of sun. Some needs shade. Some needs eight, six hours full sun so um, I need to figure out where all those different zones are in my yard and uh, I just started that today so <laughs> at two o'clock and it is now 335 <laughs> so I got a long way to go I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow and basically what I'm doing is I made a map of the house I just sketched it out and the um the areas where I want to plant stuff at and then I'm just marking if there's, when the sun is there every hour. So if it's there at one o'clock, I mark a one. If it's there at two, I mark a two. And if it's there at three, I mark a three. And I just keep going until I've done a whole day. And then I know where my sun, my full sun, partial sun, shade areas are. Um, so that does it for me today. Bye guys, happy growing. Thank you.